What's up YouTube? So today we're gonna be taking off my stock exhaust on my 2014 KX250F here. I'm gonna take off the stock one, replace it with a FMF and kind of compare the sound, see how it is compared to each other and uh, yeah, I'm gonna run you through on how to do it. So here's the exhaust I'm putting on there. It is the FMF Factory 4.1 with the uh, carbon tip, the titanium one obviously. So we're gonna throw that on there and then see how it sounds. All right, so before I uh, get into this, I'm gonna start it up with the stock exhaust, let it warm up for a bit, and then rev it up for a little bit, get the sound on that, and then we'll take it off, and then we'll put on the new FMF and get the sound for that. We're starting it cold, so it's gonna take a little bit for it to warm up. So now what I'm going to do is take off the side panel right here, that way I can access the uh, muffler and then we'll get everything else taken off. Don't mind my uh, factory graphics on here. But now I'll just pop off this uh, side panel here and we'll be able to access the muffler. So to do this, all you have to do is loosen this main bolt right here along with right here before you do the top one, that way you can just slide it out after. But loosen these two up first and then move to the back. And also with that bolt in there, you don't have to take it all off since it's a clamp. You just have to loosen it enough to loosen the clamp so it's not fully tightened around the muffler. And then lastly, you're going to take this top one off and then you will be able to remove your old muffler. And after that, you should be able to slip the exhaust right out. And there you are, you have your stock exhaust taken off. So just comparing the two, as you can see, the FMF is a lot slimmer compared to the stock. Also a lot lighter, obviously. But yeah, get it thrown on there. So for the FMF system here, as you can see, nothing really gets bolted together. It kind of just slips over the previous stock exhaust. So it slips into the uh, muffler right here. And then this end right here goes right over the stock header. So you can kind of use some high temp silicone, put it around this outer edge right here to kind of seal this together better, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to throw it on and show you guys how it sounds. It's a lot more simple. It just slides right on the end there. Wiggle it a little bit, get it pushed on, and you're good to go. So as you can see here, like I was saying, the exhaust just slips right over the header. There's no bolts and it just seals that way. That way the air just flows out. But like I said, you can seal it around the header, but it all depends on if you want to do it. All right, and then going back, you're going to put this bolt in and then the top bolt and then it's all set to go. And then there you go. You have uh, officially put on your slip on exhaust. All that's left is just to put the side panel on and then I'll start it up and uh, rev it up for you guys. And there you go, it's all set up, got the two bolts in. I'm gonna take it out, get it started up. It's looking sharp.
All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video on me putting on a new exhaust, doing the sound test and stuff like that, definitely hit that subscribe button down below and uh, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, this is like the first video you've ever seen. Go check out my other videos. I post kind of like vlogs, different motocross things at the track. So definitely check those out. So off of that, I'll see you guys in my next video.